SpongeBob. Where'd the beach go? I don't know. I booked this thing six months ago and Mr. Crab said they had volleyball and sun tanning and fishing and a crab shack and they even had a surf shack. SpongeBob, you get me into some kind of trouble. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and this is Lego City Figsdale Update 2.0. That's right, it's not Update 49, although it kind of technically is, but it is Update 2.0 because we have started over and we actually have Lego to show you and our city is starting to come alive. So we want to show you that. We'll first go into about a minute or two of uh, working and getting this thing set up. And then we're going to show you what we have for our city so far. And I think you'll be surprised. Okay, so I've been down here eating lunch, doing a few things. And Adrian has been upstairs and he's been going like crazy trying to get all those modulars out. So let's go up and see how he's doing. Hey, how's it going, man? Ah, oh, scared you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you've got a lot done. Who, Daisy, what are you doing in here? You're not allowed in the Lego room. Come on, come on. Get out of the Lego room. Go, go, go. All right, as you can see, we still got a mess in here, but man, you got a lot done, Adrian. Dude, look at that. Boy, you've been rebuilding everything. And <laughs> he's got his instructions right there. So that's that's good. How's that firehouse coming along? Is Did it ruin too bad? Cause... I'm trying to figure out this door. Oh, that door, I don't have the parts for that. Somehow that those two parts got lost for that door, so that's why there, it, it's... Uh, I have blue. I don't have the red for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think when you dropped it, when you were like, what, five years old? I think we lost the parts and we never got them back, and I never ordered them. So that's why it's like that. That's why, if you notice in all my videos... I always keep the firehouse door open because that way. <laughs> so what happened? Um, we couldn't find a red. Uh, oh yeah, the red tile or the kind of the backsplash looking tile or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. We were looking for like 20 minutes and we finally found it in the yellow bin. Yeah. We found a, a one by four tile, red tile, in the yellow bin of bricks. Well, that's great. So you fixed it exactly the way it should have been fixed to begin with. Mm -hmm. Well, perfect. And also we found the extra red garage door piece that we were missing. <laughs> See? I'll tell you, I got to put you on the job more often. Well, we have been very, very busy building the beginnings of the new Figsdale. So as you can see, I have Zabadak up there on the, <laughs> on the uh, forklift and uh, he's just up to his old shenanigans again. Mama's Bricks is standing there and she's like, oh my gosh, Zabadak, get down, my fellow countrymen. Uh, anyway, um, but, and in the background, there's Stefan from Brixenville. He's running because he's trying to catch up to us here and he's saying, hey, you know what? I'm redoing my city too. What the heck? And here is a new sig fig for our city. And this is Samuel Rogue Bricks, my good friend Samuel out in Oregon. And uh, that is his sig fig, Rogue Bricks. And I have been waiting seven months to show you that sig fig. Now, you know what? We've been doing a lot of work here in the city. So and there's Zabadok again. So let's get started and see what we've been doing. Let's get started with Adrian. As you see, Adrian is driving the truck there and he has been busy working on the roads. Now, our boulevard in Figsdale, uh, this time is going to be pretty fancy and Adrian has come up with a prototype so he wants to show it to you and um, there it is in the background and it's actually a much larger road so uh, I'll have Adrian come on here and uh, and show it to you and tell you all about it. Adrian you want to uh, um, tell everybody what it's about and then I'll show. So the road it used to be seven studs wide and now it's going to be eight studs wide so now the big tow truck can actually fit on the road. And then we're gonna have bike lanes on each side of it, which is the green, and it's gonna be a different shade of green because that green looks ugly. Yeah, and that's and that's not gonna be the color. Those these right here aren't gonna be the color either, right? Those are gonna be gray. Yeah, those are just temporary. Yeah, those are temporary. So yeah, I think. And then we're gonna have 
a patch of grass and flowers and stuff in the middle. And probably maybe some big palm trees. And that is going to go, and excuse the mess down there because that's coming from a box, but that's going to go all the way down. So there's going to be a, a big boulevard that's going to run all the way down. And there'll be modulars on this side, buildings on this side. There'll be stuff back here and all that kind of stuff. None of that stuff because that's just stuff came, that came out of a box. But you know what, Adrian? I like the way that you've made the roads bigger because they keep making the cars bigger and bigger and bigger. And that just, just adding one more stud is going to uh, really make a big difference on that road. Um, and we have a new style of crosswalk. Yeah, I, that's right. You do have a new style of crosswalk. I like that. And, you know, that's more in the, the line. And, look, there's Elmo. He's uh, coming to get some ice cream, ice cream. Um, <laughs> again, I still have dumb... Uh, and I'm not going to do a Bugs Bunny imitation, but there's a that bike lane on both sides. There's going to be one coming and one going. And I really like that bike lane because that's going to uh, to enable a lot of uh, folks to get to and from Figsdale. Let's see what else is going on here in the city. It looks like Dr. Strange is over there holding a sausage right by the laundromat. Um, and so you see, I'm going to zoom back out here uh, and we'll go talk about the, the figures in a second. But this is how it's starting. So this is the first the first part of Figsdale. Now, if you remember from Figsdale, Lego City Figsdale update number one that Adrian and I did, geez, three and a half years ago, the firehouse was our first building. Remember, we had the firehouse and the, the, it was our first building that he and I got back when he was, I don't know, four years old or something. And uh, so that's a staple of Figsdale. And so I'm going to zoom back out here so you kind of see how this is. Um, and Adrian's done a great job of putting the bookstore there. It goes really nice. I like the way you did that. It goes really nice next to the uh, firehouse. And then the brick bank is the corner. And again, coming around the side, uh, you'll see, and I apologize. I don't have my lava, I don't have batteries for my lavalier mic, so the, the sound is probably going in and out. Um, but you can see the pet store there. It all works together very nicely. Wait a minute. Someone's coming out of <laughs> Adrian set all these characters up. Someone's coming out of the pet store with a bone. Um, looks like they're going shopping there. Uh, and uh, what else is going on here? Oh, there's a little kitty that kind of got kind of lost, evidently. And there's there's Elmo. He's looking for something. And what's Benny? What's Benny complaining about down here? What the heck? Let's look. Oh, somebody stole his stole his stole his spaceship spaceship spaceship. <laughs> And it's the orange astronaut from that book that costs like a million dollars. Um, and down here we have a bank robbery going on. Uh, so there's uh, somebody coming out of the bank. And, oh, those guys, they're bad. Got to watch out for them. Um, and uh, the firefighters are down here. Now look what Adrian did with this firehouse. Um, and as we showed you, he was working on it. But the firehouse actually looks better than it ever has. Look what he did with the belfry and the tower. He actually built it. Now we're missing. We are missing the water tower right here. But he actually built it um, the way it was supposed to be built. Because when he dropped it, when he accidentally, when he was a kid, um, it fell. And when we put it back together, we didn't put it back together correctly. So now this actually works. It looks good. Everything is great, um, and all that sort of thing. So that is awesome. It looks like there's a drag race going on here. It's a good thing the cars will be able to fit on the road. <clears throat> now explain what's going to happen over here, Adrian. What's happening down here, like with our roads and stuff? So we're going to have a, a train tracks. Yeah, there's, they're going to go That's there. They're going to span a bridge across that, across that gap. Yeah, and then we're going to have the beach um, here. So there'll be tan base plates here. And, and that's, that's where we're, and we still, no, no fear, SpongeBob and Squidward. We still will have the surf shack, the shrimp shack, and, uh, and our fishing, our fishing shack over here. Um, and so it'll still be the beach, the volleyball and stuff, places to, uh, sun, but it's going to be right here in front this time. Uh, and so you, and this is all we have for the beach because I'll show you this later. I'm going to show you the whole setup in all of our tables and stuff in a minute, but I just wanted to show you all the stuff going on in the city first. Um, so yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff happening here. Um, so this, so this road then, Adrian, this road will come back around here, right? Um, so it'll come through there like that. Or, and then there'll be sand base plates here. There'll be a different road in front. 
Okay. So the boulevard will just go all the way back to the road. Can okay. To the so bo that, that boulevard's going to go all the way back there. Yeah. So we pretty much, Adrian and I have kind of decided that, that he's going to design Figsdale this time. And, he, you know, he helped design it a lot of last time. But, uh, and then I'm going to do the, uh, um, the, uh, the Six Figs amusement park and stuff. Um, so what do we have going on? Oh, no, Zabadoc fell off. See, Mama's Bricks was right. Zabadoc, I hope he's okay. <laughs> he fell off. Um, let's go over here and see what else is happening. Hey, I was told there was a pirate ship and a whole amusement park right here. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is this guy back here has been sitting here for seven months. Now, this is a great building. And oh, Reggie. It looks like Scoob is poking his face out of the... <laughs> Scoob is an honorary firefighter, evidently. Um, coming down here to the bookstore, it looks like Lisa is going in to get a whole bunch of books. And Homer, Homer's sitting here talking... Oh my gosh! Homer's talking to the hot dog guy. And uh, he's eating a hot dog while he's talking to the hot dog guy. Not very wise, Homer. Homer, you know, Homer lacks sophistication. <laughs> it looks like Slimer's getting ready to go down into the bank. The brick bank. Boy, I tell you, the brick bank's being robbed. I don't know how much money he's going to get wielding a sausage. And it looks, oh my goodness. And Luke Skywalker is back, ladies and gentlemen. He is back to save the day. So maybe he will get Slimer and uh, <laughs> and stop him. Um, here are some scientists down here. And uh, they look like they're, uh, they're I guess, comparing uh, formulas. I don't know what they're comparing formulas for. I thought I saw a Ron Burgundy. Oh my gosh, Tweety has just knocked out prize fighter, former news anchor, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> and Petunia and Porky are having tea. Isn't that wonderful? That's absolutely wonderful. It's just so nice that they can sit on the back porch. So here's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we have. Now, if you notice here, this is the side that Six Figs Amusement Park is going to be on. And, um, oh, I forgot. Yeah, forgot to show you. Down here, <laughs> and it looks like down here is where the Minecraft area is going to be. And that whole tub right there are Minecraft sets I already own. Um, I have the Mountain Cave in there and uh, the village and uh, the farm and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, it looks like uh, we got an Enderman down there going after some emeralds. I don't know why. And there is uh, somebody who's going to try to get them. But uh, under here will be where the Minecraft is. There will be a portal up here in Six Figs, and that will take you, of course, to the end portal down here. Um, you see there's a piece of the Temple of Erjitsu sitting there. Um, this is going to be Ninjago. Um, I'm going to put some Ninja Ninjago City, Ninjago Docks, Ninjago uh, Gardens, and a couple of temples right here, um, just kind of like it was before in Figsdale, um, except for this is going to be now part of Six Figs Amusement Park. There will be another table here. And if you notice, these tables are the same amount of tables that I had for Six Figs Amusement Park to begin with once I put this table here. And so that's why the park is still going to be hopefully a phenomenal park. And we're going to make it a lot kind of a lot different and it's not going to be a lot different but it's going to be different enough so that when you do see it um you'll recognize it as six fig i mean the six figs uh and it's going to start right over here now you see how i have this table here this table we're just a couple inches shy but we're going to mine the gap here with a, with a plate i mean here just real fast i'll get a uh you know we're just going to put plates over so you're not going to notice that and that's not a big gap there's not going to be any structural problems or anything but all of Figsdale will be right back here, as Adrian has. And uh, <laughs> so it will come all over through here with all the buildings. And there's all of Figsdale's buildings underneath there. There's the tables that are left. We have seven tables left from what we had before. Um, and then uh, all through here will be the kind of residential area and stuff like that. And then, boom, we're going to go. And that's where the entrance to Six Figs will be in all of this will be six figs. Um, and so that's gonna be really cool. Now, you're asking, how can I get back in the corners? Well, this table here slides, and so what we're gonna do is when I'm working back here, I slide this table right over to where Adrian is standing. Hopefully, he won't be standing there when I slide it. And uh, it doesn't bother sick or Figsdale or anything, but it slides this way, and then that way I can just do all my work, come in here and do all my work and reach all the corners and stuff, and uh, be all set. So that's how we're gonna do that.
And uh, we are pretty excited about all of this. Um, we've got the studio set up. We have the parts where we, they need to be. Um, and now remember, right now there's a whole bunch of bins because all those bins contain six figs and figsdale. Once all those bins are empty, all that space down there is going to be available too. So I can actually build Lego stuff under there as well. And I have a bunch of stuff I can do and I can display stuff under there. Um, and when I film it, of course, you won't know because, you know, it'll look like I'm, I'm just filming normally. Got all the clouds up. And the clouds are according because Mrs. McBrick wanted them to be nice and everything and not look real tacky. So I don't think they look tacky, maybe like they did last time. They're actually all level and all that kind of stuff, except for we're just a hair shy on this one. Um, this here is really crowded <laughs> because this, these are all pick a brick cups that I have to go through and sort and put in all of the stack on bins. So these are where our small parts are and things like that. Um, some brick heads up there. It's a picture of my 68 Mustang that I got when I was a kid. And of course, go Tigers. Um, and over here, we have more parts. And so there's our parts bins and things like that. Um, this is also the office that I use when I do my real job. And so when I do my real job, I actually, you know, have kind of the green screen type of effect and stuff. So that way it is, you know, university type of stuff since I'm working remotely. Um, but for now it's Lego. And I do actually have um, a little bit of pop culture stuff up top that I had um, and that I love. I'm a huge Goofy fan, as you see. And of course, Crash Bandicoot is one of my favorite games, as is Fallout. Um, and so there's Fallout Boy there. Uh, so anyway, and that's actually a real phone, by the way. Um, that was my phone uh, when I was uh, growing up. And so uh, it actually rings. Goofy moves his head and says, hey, you got a phone call. So it's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on. This is where I'll be streaming from right here. Um, there's Adrian way back there. It's getting pretty hot in here, man. I got to turn on that fan. It is super hot in here. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, you can see we don't have as much room as we had in the basement, but man, I'll tell you, we have worked to try to get almost as much room as we have. Um, <clears throat> now when they put the hurricane shutters up, um, on the outside, I will probably, um, you know, I'll be able to close those and, and black that off so that way you won't see that and probably put a cloud thing over top of it as well. Hey, before I get going, I just want to let you know I'm available on all the socials. I'm starting my Instagram account, getting back into it, and I'm also on Rebrickable now. So you can go in some of the mocks you like, like my Smitty's Auto Shop, that bicycle kiosk, some things, a new mock that I'm making as we speak that I'll be putting a video up to, to soon. Um, you can get some instructions to my mocks that I made and things like that. So don't forget to check out my merch store at teespring.com, Dr. McBrick General Store. And with that, this is, wait a minute, hold on a second. We're going to do something new here. That's all, folks. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.